Denji. In this video, I will reproduce his cat, color, and style. Roll the tape! Using the freeform technique with the razor, I will carve a diagonal forward at the height of the ear. If you're interested in knowing if this hairstyle works for your face type, at the end of the video I'll give you guys some suggestions. This style is very versatile and it's used a lot on anime characters with a lot of different lengths. It has quite a bit of texture at the ends. You can see a weight line around the crest area and the top is super activated with layers. Here on the storyboard you can see the length of the bangs. Always remember to cut the bangs a little bit longer than you see on the picture when the hair is wet. Hair will shrink as it dries out, about 1 to 2 inches of length, depending on the texture and volume of the hair. Cut the bangs diagonally from short to long on each side, to end up on the middle of the nose. In Denji's case, the longest part of the bangs is on the center. Connect the bangs with the sections on the back by slight cutting with the razor. In this style, it's very important to cut the hair in the correct angles to achieve the shape. It is now a smooth, uniform haircut. In the nape, I will create a detailed line with the razor with a wispy, smooth finish and soft horizontal line. At the end of this video, I will share with you guys the suggestion that has entered my list of videos that I will do in the future. I round the size by projecting the hair on this angle and cutting it with the razor. Observe the graduation angle and the layers on the iPad. To reproduce that activation, I will use the condensed cutting technique with the twin combs. First I will cut the center piece, and then the two other sides. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm going to be doing next, and to see some videos on the behind the scenes. To detail this haircut, first dry the hair on the style, activating all the layers. Using the white tooth texturizing shears, touch up the hair starting out from the bends. The bends are the central focus area on this hairstyle, so you have to kill it. If you like this video you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. It makes the biggest difference. Thank you to all of you for your support. Let's see if you can get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm counting on you. Don't miss next week the Wolfcack style of Bucky. As you can see on the storyboard, this is the weight line area. That is the point where the interior layers connect, incremented on the top and graduated on the back. To create the active texture on the top, I will razor cut the hair on the direction of the layers. Adding these layers to the style will achieve the wispy jagged movement that I'm looking for. In the area of the crown, there are these short bolt strands. This technique is very effective to get these layers and movement in the inside part of the haircut. Using traditional techniques on this area will end up cutting too much of the hair and breaking or ruining the shape. Texture is the ends of the haircut by following the guideline around the head and cutting vertically and horizontally when it's needed. Detail the shape with the razor and with the scissors overcome.
Take your time to style the bangs. The bangs will make or break this look. To get his orange hue or color on the hair, I will bleach it to the level 7 or 8. After the decoloration is done, you can add a toner to give it the perfect color. In the case of my mannequin hair, it looks just perfect after the bleach process. Paste from 1821 will be my favorite product to dry the hair after the bleach process. It will add hydration, smoothness, and protein to rebuild the hair. Hand dry the hair until 60% of the moisture is gone. And then using the brush, blow dry the hair on the direction of the style. The top part of the hair and the bangs should be blow dry on the direction towards the face. If you want to recreate dangerous style for yourself and your hair is not straight, use the fly iron. Observe how I handle the iron to get the hair flat and stiff just like the pictures. Now relax and enjoy the show with a little music. This style looks phenomenal and it goes well with any face types. So if you have a face and hair long enough, you are on luck, you can do this style. It's good for all of you, so go for it. Wax from 1821 will help me out to separate the strands for the finished look of this style and rock out those ends. I love this style, this is one of my favorites. This is considered a pixie style and is great for men and women. Let's see if you can reproduce the sinister finished face in the picture. I will arrange the hair by using 1821 hair spray. My go-to product to finish almost every style. This week, the suggestion to run a spa on my list of future videos is Senju from Tokyo Revengers. This is Angel Del Solar, the hairbender. <laughs> 